Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. The South Korean president is on a four-day visit to India and is scheduled to hold talks with Prime Minister Modi on 11th July. According to latest reports, India and South Korea will collaborate in the growing global artificial intelligence market. The two sides are also expected to sign an early harvest agreement, which is a precursor to a free trade agreement between two trading partners. India, South Korea and Afghanistan will sign an agreement that allows Indian companies to fulfill Korea's development and infrastructure commitments to Afghanistan. Prime Minister Modi and the South Korean President have also launched the world's biggest mobile factory in Noida, and the unit will have a capacity of fabricating 120 million phones per year. After a long gap, Pakistan seems to be increasing its activity in the region of Gujarat. And according to reports, Pakistan has developed an airbase along the Gujarat border. It has developed a modern airfield for military aircraft operations close to the border with India, and will deploy its fleet of Chinese JF-17 fighters. The Cabinet Committee on Security headed by Prime Minister Modi, has already cleared the setting up of a forward fighter base in Disa in Gujarat. The airfield will plug the air gaps on the border, but will take at least three to four years to extend the runway and construct other infrastructure. The RDO is looking towards the Indian industry, for the commercial production and marketing of the newly developed border surveillance system. Two prototypes of the system were deployed for trials for over a year, and now the DRDO wants the system to be operationalized. The RDO is looking at transferring the technology to interested parties that can manufacture the system. The Indian Navy's long-standing plan to build and commission its second indigenous aircraft carrier into service by 2030, has been further postponed, due to steadily declining budgets and technological roadblocks, and due to the enduring delays by the Ministry of Defense in approving the program. The proposed 65,000-ton conventionally powered carrier, was projected to cost around $13 billion, as part of the Indian Navy's Maritime Capability Perspective Plan. China has successfully launched two remote sensing satellites for Pakistan, marking the first international commercial launch of its Long March 2C in the past 19 years. PRSS-1 satellite, is the first Chinese optical remote sensing satellite that is sold to Pakistan, which will be used for providing remote sensing information for the China-Pakistan economic corridor. The satellite has a design life of seven years, and is equipped with two multispectral cameras, which has a resolution of up to one meter, and has a coverage range of 60 kilometers. Construction work for the second nuclear power plant of Bangladesh will start soon, as the Energy Regulatory Authority has granted license to the country's Atomic Energy Commission. India will also participate in the nuclear power project, in construction and installation work, training and consulting services for the implementation of the project, and will also supply non-critical materials. Russia is supplying two VVER power plants to Bangladesh, and the commercial launch is expected to be in 2023.